Previously on Project Retro Rally. I will be driving this car in the AVD Histomonta. We are going to be turning this into a classic rally car. Just point and shoot. And you can see how much work there is left to do. That is rough. Gearbox needs to come out. Oh, one gearbox removed. Concerning oil leak, it's coming from the motor. So this will be changed. Hopefully no more leak. Welcome back to Behind the Build featuring Heinrich, our magnificent Mercedes-Benz 280S that we'll be transforming into a rally car over the next few weeks. And this week, with work really progressing, we're going to be getting into the nitty-gritty build details that you won't have seen on the Car Throttle channel. Speaking of, we took the gearbox out, had a fight with a bolt and removed the old radiator. And while we've been away, Sven and his team continued ice blasting Heinrich's belly. It's time for us now to draw our attention to Heinrich's engine. So I would now like to introduce to you a very special man, Karl Heinz. Very nice to meet you. Hello, Alex. Hello, hello. This is Karl Heinz. He is a Mercedes mechanic and he's going to be uh, showing me through the process. So the first thing that we need to do to Heinrich is have a look at the air filter. This means removing a breather pipe and two bolts, after which the air filter lid is lifted. So, oh, look. Oh, das doesn't look too bad. Das sieht gar nicht sieht so gut aus, ne? Aus. Sieht gar nicht schlecht aus. Ja, das geht. Ja. Aber tauschen wir. Tauschen wir. Hier der neue Original bekommt man noch. Look at that, a thing of beauty. With the new filter snugly installed, the air filter lid is replaced. So that's the build done. Well, not quite, because the next thing on our list is to check the spark plugs and test the engine's compression. There's a nice little hack for you guys when you've undone the uh, spark plug sufficiently you get one of these uh, rubber hoses on. Six spark plugs out. So now stuff gets interesting because we are namely going to do a compression test on Heinrich's heart. Go! Go! Stop! Stop! Full gas! Full gas! Go! Stop! Stop! Go! Seven to six. Stop! Alright, so I think Karl Heinz is pretty impressed with Heinrich. Have you good gemacht? Hast du sehr gut gemacht? Oh, the compression picture apparently is very, very good for it, especially for the edge of this car. You're allowed a tolerance of about one bar, and as you can see here, all six cylinders are pretty much on, on 12 here, so that's a really good reading, meaning that Heinrich is a very happy boy. Next step is to take the valve cover off, have a look at all the valve clearances, make sure everything's good. Here we go. Let's have a look. There we go. So now we're going to have a look at the valve clearances using a feeler gauge on both the exhaust and intake side. 0.10 and 0.20 is what we're looking for. With most of the valve clearances good and a few adjusted, I clean up the engine while Karl Heinz fits a new valve cover gasket before everything's installed again. Next up, we turn our attention to restoring the distributor. And the cool thing is, is that you can get everything from Mercedes-Benz dealerships, including, for cars like Heinrich, everything for a classic Mercedes. You can still buy, which is pretty cool, which is where we got these parts from. The 
the plan now is to uh, check that the distributor cap is all working happily as it should. So I am going to start the car. What? So I've got to make a few tiny adjustments. I look good in here, right? I think it's. I think it suits me. I think when I get back to the UK, I'm gonna have to do a bit of research. Maybe get a Heinrich of my very own. I can see myself cruising around London in one of these. The good thing is, as well, you wouldn't have to uh, pay tax or get an MOT. Stop it, Peter! Yeah, okay, good. It's good? 70. 42, that's very good. Job done. Such a good noise. Right, so now it's time to put the new spark plugs in. Let's chuck them in. I say chuck, I mean delicately place them. Otherwise I'll get shouted at. So now I'm being entrusted to put this hose back using nothing but delicate touch. Not something I'm particularly known for, but it's something that I think I've learnt now. So what I've got to do is I've got to grab this and swing on it as hard as possible. No? Ganz schön richtig so. No? No. 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 Ganz schön ruhig. With things running smoothly, Heinrich decided to throw a spanner in the works because what project car wouldn't be complete without problems? And now it's time to uh, start Heinrich up and hope that everything works. We should be good. We should be good. Läuft. Läuft. Müssen wir ein bisschen Gas geben, leicht. Bit of gas. Right, so it is now an hour later. The plan was to completely roll into, uh, into the next scene, which would have been uh, adjusting the timing. Unfortunately, um, Heinrich is refusing to start at the moment. So uh, Karl Heinz has been really busy scratching his head, pulling out the spark plugs, looking at the distributor cap again. Um, and yeah, we don't know what's happening, but all we know is that the, uh, the engine hasn't been getting any fuel, but uh, Karl Heinz asked me to start the car again because he's put the spark plugs back in and cleaned some stuff up. So yeah, I'm going to try it and this is genuinely the first time after many times of trying that Heinrich will hopefully start. Well this is a... I, I was going to say this is actually a lot better than it was, but um, yeah. Still having starting issues. Start it. Start it? Yeah. Come on, Heinrich. So yeah, um, Karl Heinz is having a bad time. He's just walked out the door. Probably just to shout at something, maybe a brick wall, I'm guessing. After a few minutes to get some parts, Karl Heinz returned to tinker some more.
happy while we're running. So with Heinrich proving to be a massive pain in the... I'm gonna stop there. It's up to Karl Heinz to order a few new parts and hopefully get this old guy started in the next few days. Join us next time on Behind the Build for that, plus more wrenching, and don't forget to subscribe to the Mercedes-Benz channel. Until then... See you next week. See you next week. Wir gehen jetzt Kaffee trinken. Okay. To subscribe, click here, and to watch another video, click here.